The best tech solves a problem. So let's talk about our new mobile video announcement rig. About a year ago, our church decided to move to filming video announcements on a weekly basis. And the positives of this is that it allows us to communicate with a lot of clarity, do more showing than telling, whether we're dismissing kids and showing parents what to expect, we're talking about an upcoming event, using B-roll to tell that story, we've really become fans of it. But there is one big problem for most churches when they attempt to do video announcements, and that's time. <laughs> we don't have a dedicated studio space yet, and we're a big fan, really, of switching up the locations for shooting. So every Wednesday morning, we were setting up and tearing down lighting rigs, tripods, teleprompters, etc., etc. So to ease my pain and redeem my time, I decided to invest a little money into making a mobile studio on a C-stand. And I'm using it right now. And I've seen many iterations of these types of rigs, but for our use, I needed it to be easy to move, be completely wireless, and be simple to store. Oh, and I also needed it not to break the bank. <laughs> So at the core of this setup, I went with a newer rolling C-stand that costs around $170, and this thing is great. The air cushioned lowering and raising is awesome. The wheels are a good quality, and you may have to add sandbags depending on how much weight that you add to the top. But for lighting, I decided to go with the Amaran 60D. It's an LED light that's a daylight color, but they also offer a bicolor version that I kind of wish I had purchased instead. This way I could have balanced and color matched to whatever lighting environment I'm in. Uh, these can be NPF battery powered, but I had some issues with our old NPF, so I added a V-mount battery instead, which I'll link in the description. And I have the light placed directly above the camera with a nice photo softbox attached that's 35 inches. We already had this, but they run around $125. And most people would recommend that you boom the light over off of camera, but for video announcements, we're totally happy with like the high key commercial style lighting this gives us as it's still super soft. You'll also need a couple of attachments like a super clamp, a spigot arm, and a ball head for the camera of your choice. And we are typically using the Panasonic G85 with the Sigma 18 to 35 f1.8 lens and it works really well. And an important part of this rig is the teleprompter. Scripting our videos forces our presenters to come prepared makes editing a breeze. And for the teleprompter, we've been using and loving this Desview T3 as it'll hold an iPad mini or a phone just fine. And my favorite prompter app has been Prompt Smart Pro. For audio, we've been using the DJI wireless mic system. And sometimes we'll run a lav into the DJI unit so it's not just sitting here on your shirt. All in all, we spent $479 on this light, the stand, and the adapters. And we already had the rest of the equipment needed. But out the door, including a camera, a lens, everything else we talked about, you could get this setup for right around $2,000. Well, we really have been liking this unit. It's helped us out, saved me a ton of time each week. And if you like videos like this, where we're kind of, you know, cobbling something together to make it work in our media ministry, if you like me sharing this stuff, why don't you hit the like button? Let me know in the comments if you've got something similar like this for your church or that's working well for you. I will link all of those items that I've talked about in the description if you wanna get current pricing on those. And I'll link a video right up here where you can see how we're doing simultane simultaneous video announcements. Uh, one that goes in-house and one that goes to our stream, all with the push of one button. So remember guys, we can do a lot of great things. Let's do it all for God's glory.